Hi everyone, welcome to JD Gardens. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Please support the channel by planting that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Well, we have another episode of Dealing with Garden Critters. And today we're gonna to be talking about the feathered kind. And that's when they start making themselves a little too much at home for your liking. So stick around. So we're here underneath the gazebo in Garden West and as you can see we had some birds make themselves a nice little nest or big nest at the top of our cupola here. And uh, I've actually seen for the past week that uh, birds have been collecting twigs and hay and stuff like that up here. So I've been kind of knocking it down to deter them from uh, doing anything up there. But um, I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you how to deal with this. So. I left them alone yesterday and look what they made in just one night. It's uh, pretty incredible. I'm going to bring this down, bring it closer to the camera to show you. And uh, don't worry, there are no eggs in there. I already checked. So let me see. Whoa, my God, this <laughs> thing had some heft to it. It's still a little wet too. It's pretty wild. I mean, look at this thing. Isn't this incredible? Ugh, they left a mess here. Uh, look, look how round it is. Look at the, the mud inside that they used to form it. It's, uh, it's actually kind of beautiful. It looks kind of store-bought. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty amazing uh, what the determined uh, mother bird will do. Now, um, it's a shame. Uh, it's, it's so beautiful. It's a shame to have to move it. But uh, unfortunately, I can't leave it up here for a couple of reasons. One is um, I wouldn't want any kind of uh, raccoon or animal to try to get up here and get at their eggs. That's one thing. Uh, but mainly is this is actually an electrical box, as you can see, that we use to run the power to our ceiling fans here. So we obviously don't want anything wet around here and like I said the birds what they do is um they actually grab water from our fountains and uh and grab some mud and some dirt and they mix it together and they they kind of get this all very wet uh to kind of hold the nest together so we can't have that uh not to mention they're totally making a mess they're dropping mud and <laughs> and uh hay and stuff all over our furniture underneath so we, we can't have that so um I think I'm, I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to show you how to stop the birds. Uh, uh, I have something to show you how to stop the birds from building any nests. So let me go grab it and I'll show you how it's done. So the best way to stop birds from putting a nest somewhere is to make it as uncomfortable for them as possible. And the way to do that is by using what's called bird spikes. Now you've probably seen similar things in your at stores in the uh, signs or in the marquee like uh on the top or like maybe inside the circ uh the space where the o or the g is and that's because birds will try to find any place that they can to keep out of the rain to build their nests so you see these metal spikes coming out of there and you probably always wondered what that was well th those are bird spikes and those are to deter them because if the birds get closer, they come and try to rest on it. They're gonna, it's gonna be very difficult and they're gonna, it's gonna hurt them. So that's what, uh, that's what those things in the signs are. Now, this is actually, uh, and there's all different kinds. Uh, this is actually one that I used in another part of the property, uh, but believe it or not, it actually, uh, the spikes, as sharp as they are, and they're a little sharp, I mean, they're plastic, but they're still sharp, uh, they were actually too small. A bird had actually uh, uh, rested on top and started placing a lot of the debris and for their nest on top, and they built it right on top of it. So this is not going to cut it up here. So what I do have, and this probably looks a little more familiar to you that you've seen in the store, we got some, uh, some big ones like this. And as you can see, they're about, what, uh, five, six inches long. They come in all directions. They have different spikes in different areas. And what it is is that you, you kind of place it on the top and the birds aren't going to come anywhere near it. They're just not going to have any room. And uh, like I said, there's all different kind of manufacturers. Um, uh, this is uh, one company we found on Amazon. We'll leave some links uh, to it below. 
and um, I've used it uh, again in other parts and it's worked great. So I'm gonna clean the top of it, any other debris off these areas, they still have some. Now, uh, it'll actually come with uh, some kind of glue so that you can uh, stick it onto any surface. Um, these boxes are metal, so I really don't have to worry about that and I'm, I'm certainly not gonna screw into them. So I just use some double-sided tape some uh, uh, waterproof double-sided tape and attach it to the bottom there. I'm just gonna line it up and make sure it sits right on the box. And yeah, that's not going anywhere. I mean, the birds are gonna come and be like, whoa, no way, that's not happening. So it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, but it will deter them. And they're clear plastic, so they're not totally unsightly looking, I mean, uh, you know, if, uh, if you don't like the look of them, I mean, you know, you can just keep swatting away, but uh, the birds and that's how they come. But uh, I just find that it's, uh, I can live with the little unsightliness of these. Let me go there, because uh, I'm just tired of mud all over <laughs> the furniture and the table. One time, actually, um, uh, I guess a critter had gotten up there and uh, knocked down one of the eggs or something happened and it was a blue egg i believe it's a robin's egg and it's a shame it was a, a cracked egg right on top of our fire table here and it was just a shame so we just uh want them to find a better place uh let me put this here okay look at that and that's it i mean that's not gonna now there's no real spot for them to they're not gonna try to stay on this ledge here they just uh, need some uh, big flat surface. And I, I think, uh, well, let me move this over a little bit more. Yep, that's it. Uh, so I haven't seen them try to do anything else. I've had, we've had this, uh, uh, this uh, gazebo up for a couple of years and that seems to be the only spot that they want to uh, uh, build a nest. So I think this will deter them and uh, we should uh, <laughs> have a clean, uh, clean gazebo for the rest of the season. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, found it informative. If you're having problems with your birds, uh, with birds in your area, uh, try these bird spikes. Like I said, we, we have some links for them below and you'll see that they're really gonna uh, deter any birds from uh, um, uh, building a nest in your area. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them below and be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So from all of us at JD Gardens, remember, yes we can. Uh,